Yeah, we're, we're at one of the projects that Zella had helped to uh, infrastructure. Um, you know, Zella is not necessarily known in this country, but we come under an existing entity. And what's so powerful is that I think what God desires is that the locals, the people from the community and cultures, they're the ones that should be highlighted and honored because they have the ingenuity, the creativity, and innovation. When we first came to this property, it was all flat land and there was nothing here. And there's rice and rice fields, but this property wasn't being utilized to the, its greatest potential. In fact, this property started with one fish pond that was dug out by the workers' hands, several of them. And now there's close to 40 rye that, that is now filled with ponds. They produce over two and a half million tilapia a month, which helps sustain the work that they're doing throughout the Northeast provinces. And it's led by a misfit, and that's what I love about her. Her name is Nujan. Nujan is like the CEO of a Sustainable Development Research Foundation, otherwise known as SDRF. And she is phenomenal. Uh, she's part of the Isan people. The Isan people, you know, are, are those type of people that are, they have that strong spirit. They're feisty. They have a good sense of humor, but they work hard. Uh, Bangkok knows them as the people who help supply their industry. Uh, in terms of the manufacturing piece, they're the workers. But here you see the beauty of the Yusan people, how creative they are, how hardworking they are. And here they're taking tilapia and they're breeding them in the ponds. They're putting the males and the females together. And then the eggs are then uh, are hatched and they, 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 they produce these little small fry that they then sell and they give out to villages as well. He's gonna bring a fish and they're gonna bring a fish and they're gonna show you